what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since i'm about halloween ends in this video here again today and talking about this test screening that apparently went on last night in new york and new jersey for halloween ends fandom empire did a live stream talking about it and also prior to this test screening that that happened last night we had big screen leaks put out a tweet saying that they heard that a public test screening would be occurring soon this was a few days ago and now a few days have passed and it actually did happen i guess and viewer non apparently also put out a tweet that many people was in reference to the test screening from last night but it's now been deleted talking about directors taking swings and being allowed to miss and then directors missing to the point that the bat hits them in the teeth so people who have attended the test screening or have claimed to have attended the test screening have taken to reddit taken to other places and been sharing their reactions to the movie so i'll go over some of these reactions from people who again are claiming they attended it last night so one reddit user um who the hell knows is 69 and i'll actually leave i'll just leave links to the threads in the description of the video they said i saw the movie at at the new jersey screening jason blump came on stage and begged us not to spoil any plot de details on reddit which i'm not going to what i will say is that there was a lot of cheering gasps laughs and applause i saw people on twitter saying that the movie got horrible reviews in new jersey but there is there is no way for everyone to get together and discuss their opinions in committee and then someone followed up with did you enjoy it that same person said yes i enjoyed it immensely no spoilers for me they also went on to say, will there be creative choices in the movie that may be off-putting to someone who just wants something like Halloween Kills? Absolutely. Will critics like like it? Also, yes, in my opinion. Does Michael Myers die in the first scene like a lot of rumors suggest? Don't jump on those rumors and relax. So another person apparently said that. Now, if you don't want any real specific spoilers or anything that you think is a spoiler like for instance some of this stuff that i'm about to go over honestly is like telling you that there's a toothpick in the movie so apparently the opening scene takes place in 2019 with a new main character that's what someone is claiming again over on the halloween halloween movies reddit and then he this same person also said that the information about that mask is indeed false it's the same mask same everything from the 2018 movie and then someone else in a dm that was posted talking about a chat they had on reddit said that allison actually has a big role in the movie now i'm not sure if they've actually already hyped this up themselves those people i'm saying being david gordon green and those involved with the actual production but apparently allison of course has a big role in this movie i think that was the expectation going into it anyway uh, and then they also asked did they touch on what i'll just say do they touch on what's been going on in the year for the past two years has been affecting everyone and they said no they don't touch on that at all uh it's really post that but they do include a neat character development scene that takes place in 2019 which again goes back to what i was just saying about something happening i guess at the start of this movie that pertains to the year of 2019 now another person over on reddit who i will shout out because they have a youtube channel uh shout out to you the jazzy ute over on uh, twitter they had shared a screenshot and they put out a tweet saying from what they've been told the halloween ends test screening in new jersey was genuinely well received by the audience the movie is definitely different but there were cheers and enjoyment from them from most audience we'll see though they said they said they shared this text message from a from a friend of theirs that, that they say was at the screening they said it was in screening as expected movie is going to be different i won't spoil anything but i think critically it's going to be as well received as halloween 2018 audience was definitely into it felt pretty positive in with it ended with an applause oh and michael definitely doesn't die at the beginning of the movie so i guess we can put that to bed like many of us had already put that to bed without even having to know somebody from a test screening needing to tell us that uh, the other thing i saw some people sharing over on reddit was that they were saying michael is basically sprinkled throughout the movie so i'm assuming there might be a chance we see less of michael myers but again that saying he's sprinkled throughout the movie makes me more go down that path of thinking okay this is going to be a very character driven narrative 
we will get to see Michael Myers stalk the victims more before we just have straight up bloodshed. I do want to also just say this. Just because Michael Myers doesn't look like that Rob Zombie co concept figure doesn't mean that there isn't going to be a hobo-esque element still to it of how he might look earlier on in the movie. Because I know I also just said in this video that someone denied that from the test screen saying it was BS, but that doesn't mean that they still don't have Michael in the movie looking a certain way that's reminiscent of how you might look if you're out there living in the freaking wild <laughs> he doesn't have to have a hoodie on and everything like that but we'll see if there's like multiple looks for the shape when the movie comes out uh, of course we already knew that we were going to get the traditional look because again from the cinema con footage where reputable people in the industry when it relates to journalism were attending they were not coming out and expressing that michael myers looked like a hobo they were going on about michael myers having that traditional look michael myers and laurie strode having a kitchen brawl no one made a big deal about michael myers hobo look because michael didn't look like a hobo during that sequence that was shown at cinema con so we already knew we were going to get the standard look but but I do think there is a chance that we still get like some alterations of him earlier in the movie because he because of where he's been living at. And I know I saw someone else actually chime in on this in the comment section, thus further living up to, I guess, the working title of Cave Dweller, if that's exactly how what he's been doing for these past four years. But some of these alleged test screening reactions, again, they're fun just to discuss because, again, I can't really tell you that these people actually attended because at the end of the day, the more you're going to you're going to obviously get to the point where you're going to see probably more spoilers than ever now that they had a public test screening. There's already one test screening that they had, but it was for those within the industry, more of a closed door screening. So for them to have a public test screening this close to release, uh, I'm thinking you're going to see more spoilers than ever now because people the, and the more you see, the more I'm going to think, OK, this actually did occur and people actually were in attendance. Uh, we'll see how true some of these comments were when we see the movie in October. But let me know what you guys think about all all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video